today we'll be having breakfast burritos. Our ingredients are, we have our flour tortillas, bell pepper, black pepper, nonstick spray, and our carton of eggs. We also have lean ham and some green onions. For the salsa that we're gonna make to go with our breakfast burrito, we're gonna use some salsa, and some plain yogurt. Now to get started with this recipe, I'm gonna wash my hands. You wanna make sure you wash your hands with this recipe because you're gonna be doing a lot of hands-on cooking. So you wanna definitely make sure you don't have anything in those nails and in the hand, on your hands. Once again, you wanna make sure that you wash your hands long enough to sing the happy birthday song, Twinkle Twinkle Little Star, or Tops and Bottoms. It's also always good to rinse down so the water doesn't run back up your arm and you doesn't have any dirt or anything running back up your arm as well. Give it a try. So let's get started here. We already have our pan on low and we're just gonna warm our shells. Now you don't have to warm them on the skillet. You can also warm them in the microwave. Just put them between two damp paper towels and just warm them for like 30 seconds. So you just wanna reform them on both sides that's just to make it a little better to roll. And who wants to eat a raw tortilla shell? And I'm just gonna stick it right back in here. It's plastic, so it'll steam up and it'll keep it nice and warm for when we're almost done with our recipe. So let's just give that swarm in here. And you'd like, as you see, it's pretty quick. You don't even need to leave it in the pan for that long. You just wanna just get it just warm. You don't want it too hot because if you warm it up too much, then they'll start hardening and you won't be able to roll it. Everything will just break up. Okay. So let's get started with our ingredients. So we're just gonna spray our pan lightly. And you wanna do that even if you have a nonstick pan. So we're gonna go ahead and get our bell pepper. Let's wash it off, rinse it off. You want to make sure you want to get it all the nooks and crannies. And then also we want to rinse off some of the green onions. Green onions is excellent. Um, here in Georgia, they basically grow out in your yard. They're like, they're another name for chives. You can just pick them out your yard and cut them up and use them. I'm pretty sure you smell them when you cut your grass. So we're just going to cut those tips off because they're a little worn. We're just gonna do just a half a cup because you definitely don't want your breakfast burrito full onion. So half cup, we're gonna go ahead, put that in there. And we're gonna cut our bell pepper. And you wanna just take it from the side, cut around to the other side. Snap it right open. Get rid of those sides. You have a little seeds in the middle. And just peel that right off. Just shake it in your hand. Come on, there it go. So I only probably need about a fourth of bell pepper. And I like to dice mine finely because we are putting it in eggs in a burrito. This is a great way to sneak in some vegetables to your children. So we're just gonna do a half a cup of those as well. We just want to soften everything up before we add our eggs. And you can also use the red one, yellow ones, or orange ones, which will make your recipe a little bit more festive. So let's see if we have a half a cup here. Half a cup. So like I said, just a quarter piece of bell pepper. Let's get that in there. And let's just stir that just to saute them a bit. Now with our eggs, we're using pasteurized eggs. It's basically the same thing as regular eggs. It's just, they have, they are cholesterol free, they're fat free. You don't have to be, buy a big carton like this. We're only gonna use half of it, which the recipe calls for. So you just wanna give it a good shake, it's just like eggs. So you wanna scramble them inside the carton. And we're just gonna pour them directly into the skillet. 
And I like to pour it around to make sure that all my bell peppers are incorporated in my eggs. Now we have our ham. And this is ham is already diced up, but you can also use like regular lunch meat ham and just cut it up yourself if you like. You can use breakfast ham, whichever type of meat you like. You can use ground turkey, Italian sausage. And if you have ground turkey, if you just add a little sage, it makes it taste just like Italian sausage. So we're just going to add that in there. Like I said, it's going to be a lot of hands on. So just get in there and make it work for you. So while our eggs are cooking, we're going to go ahead and make our sauce for this, our dip. So our dip calls for a half a cup of yogurt and a fourth of salsa. Instead of stirring it, I'm just going to give it a shake. Let's just pour it on him here. And there it is, half a cup. Then we're going to add our salsa. Let's give that a stir. And this is just another way to get a little bit more fruits and vegetables and low-fat dairy into this recipe. You can use more salsa if you like and less yogurt. And this is also a good dip if you're using tortilla chips. You're having a party and you have like a little salsa left. You can just grab some plain yogurt and make it stretch. And it's tasty too. Kids will love it. Anything they can dip into, they're good with it. So our eggs are cooking. We're just going to scramble them up here. Okay. And we're going to add our black pepper, which is only a half a teaspoon. And as you see, this recipe does not call for salt because you already have your ham in there. So you really don't need to add any more salt. As you see, it really doesn't take long for our eggs to cook. Now we're gonna add our cheese, our shark shredder. So we're just gonna add a half a cup. And we're just gonna add that. Let's give this a little stir over here. And as you see, this recipe is really quick. When you're making this recipe, I know you're probably saying, why don't I put the tomatoes into the sauce, into the burrito, into the eggs? But it'll kind of make it a little bit more runny and it'll be harder to, once you roll it. When you go to bite it, everything will just fall out. So we're just going to use that as a dip. So we have our cheese on there. 10 minutes, not even, you have your egg. Mix already ready for your breakfast burrito. So let's just clean up here a little bit. Basically throw everything in the sink. Now we're gonna get our plate here. Get one of our pre-warmed shells. And we turn our skillet off. So basically you want to get, you just want to cut it into separate parts. That way it'll be easier for you to just scoop some out and put it right into your shell. Now there are several ways that you could roll this. So I'm going to show you both ways. Bless me. A little pepper in my nose. So we have that on there. And we're just going to take it and just tuck it and roll it. So that's one way you can roll it. So I'm gonna take a little bit more. And you don't have to put a little bit in your burrito, you can put as much as you like, but just so you'll be able to roll it nicely, we'll do it this way. So we're gonna take it and we're gonna roll our sides in. Just fold your sides in. 
and we're going to close it and then we're going to roll it that way. So with this way, you probably won't even need to cut it. You can just have one whole one yourself. Ooh, it's hot in here. So now that we have that done, let's go ahead and we're going to cut it. And that's your breakfast burrito. So let's get just a little sauce here. Because a burrito is just not a burrito without sauce. I'm just going to put some on the side so I can dip it. So this is your breakfast burrito from start to finish, not even 10 to 15 minutes. Something quick you can do on a Saturday morning when your kids are getting up, brushing their teeth, washing their face, getting ready for the day. You can whip this together real quick. That way you won't have to worry about giving them cold cereal or anything like that. Just go ahead and dip that. Oh, that's good. Forget going to McDonald's, paying a dollar for one. You can pay about seven dollars and you can get a whole bunch of them. You don't have to worry about it. So that's breakfast burrito, something quick you can make. Breakfast, lunch, or dinner. Thank you very much for coming. I'll see you again. Same time, same place, different recipe.